guys, it's Katie Farner, director for the Sunshine State Superstars. I just got my delivery today for the Scent and Warmer of the Month for January 2015, and I wanted to show you the beautiful Charmer Warmer. So, I have never done anything with beach glass like this before, so this was a first attempt, so I hope that you guys think it looks good. Um, I'm going to show you kind of a little bit of the setup first. So, oh, so you're going to get, your warmer is going to come with two boxes like the lampshade warmers do. You're going to have your box for your base and then you're also going to have pieces everywhere. You're going to have your box for the glass piece. So you're also going to have a bag like this that is going to contain the beach glass or faux beach glass. And you're also gonna have a small bag that rests on the top that's gonna contain the red hearts. So you can see that I was a little too liberal with the hearts. When I first started up filling the jar with the beach glass, um, I was not using enough hearts. So I'm probably gonna redo this because I feel like there's way more hearts on the top than the bottom, but I didn't know how many I had, so, you know. I, I will do that differently the second time around. I have like 13 hearts left. So, but I used all the glass. So, recommendation for you to fill this. You'll notice that in the center, you've got, you know, like your core, which is where the light bulb is. And then you've got about an inch thick um, section that you're actually gonna fill with the beach glass. So, if you try to pour the glass out of this into there, you're gonna make a huge mess. So what I did was I got this little thing, it's actually by Pampered Chef, um, and so I would just pour a little bit in here at a time, and then see it has a pour spout. So I, let's say that this, because I can pick this up easier. Let's say that this is the core of, the, say that this is the warmer. So here's the center and here's like the ring that I would be filling. So I actually just kind of took this and poured and I used my hand to block so none of the things would fall out. Um, can't really show you, but that's how I did it. So I would just pour like this, used my hand to block and it worked really, really well. And then I would just kind of drop the hearts in there. I would do kind of a level of the beach glass and drop a few hearts all the way around and then do another level of the beach glass, drop a few hearts around. And this seemed to work very, very well. I had like maybe five or six of the little beach glass pieces fall out um, because they're really small and they're clear, so they're hard to see. You can easily drop these, spill these, and that would hurt to step on it. You don't want to end up with some of those on the floor. So um, I'm going to show it to you. It's super heavy with all of this beach glass in there, but it's a really modern look. Super, super modern. You've got your round silver base, and it's also silver on the top. And then you've got a glass dish comparable to the lampshade warmers. The shape and the size is very similar to the diamond lampshade warmers. It's just a lot heavier because of all the glass inside. So I'm going to show it to you lit up now. Now, I don't know how it's coming through on the video because I can't see, um, but anytime I saw pictures or videos of this warmer, I was, I was honestly concerned. I thought, oh, it looks like little Barbie doll organs on ice. <laughs> when I first saw it, I thought it looked like little Barbie doll hearts on ice. But in person, I really like it. I am impressed. It's a lot more sparkly in person than it looks in video, and the red of the hearts is more of a true red in person. In video, I, in photos, I'm finding that the hearts are looking much more orange. So for those of you who maybe have that similar concerns that I do, rest easy because it really is beautiful in person. I had my concerns, I had my doubts, but it really is much prettier in person than it looks in photos or videos. And you can see I've got a really good amount of hearts in here, but I still have 13 left over. So you can be using, you can use more of the hearts than you think you can as you're making it. Like I said, I still have 13 left. So I'm probably gonna redo it. So this warmer 
um, is actually 45 but for the month of January, it's going to be $40.50 on sale. So make sure that your customers know January 1st, they can get the Charmer Warmer. It would be beautiful to add to their Valentine's decor or give to their Valentine. And this warmer is completely customizable. They don't even have to use this beach glass. They can use their own beach glass that's going to match their home decor after the holiday is over and they want to take those hearts out. They can put whatever they want in there. So this warmer is really exciting. And I think that this is taking us in a new direction. I think we're gonna see some new things in the spring and summer catalog. They're gonna be really exciting like this. Lots of customization opportunities, which our customers, of course, love. So that's the Charmer Warmer. So next, let's talk about Ice Hotel. The name, I was like, really? But hey, they have to come up with scent names all year long. We should cut them a break. <laughs> I just thought Ice Hotel was kind of funny. It was unexpected. Um, so this is described as surround yourself with crystalline ice and pure white snow as you breathe in a cool, magical fragrance of blue mint, arctic pine, and winter citrus. When I read it, I thought, eh, I don't know. Take it or leave it. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. But I really like it. It's really fresh and crisp and clean, but it doesn't smell powdery by any means. It's a, it's a, it's more of a citrus clean scent that I'm smelling. Oh, and then just now when I broke it apart, cause you know, when it's broken apart, you can smell more of the levels of the notes. You can smell the mid notes and the bass notes more than when you smell it here. When you smell it here, you're mainly smelling the top notes. When you smell it, broken apart, you're smelling more of a mixture of all of the levels of the notes, in case you didn't know that. When I break it apart, I smell more of the, the pine elements, and I also smell more of the peppermint, that minty fra fragrance. Up top, I feel like I'm smelling more of the citrus. I feel like this scent is almost a little bit masculine too. It doesn't smell a lot like it, but something about it reminds me of a fragrance we used to have called Mediterranean Spa. You might remember that scent. Something about it reminds me of Mediterranean Spa. I feel like Mediterranean Spa with a little citrus and a little pine added to it. I don't know, strange, that, but that is the only scent from the past that comes to mind when I smell this. So again, the scent of the month is going to be on sale starting January 1st, 10% off, but it doesn't apply to packages. So if they're getting, say, the perfect plugins or a six pack of bars, it's not 10% off the package. It's just 10% off single items purchased of this scent. And you can get this scent in the room spray, the scent circle, or the scentsy bar. And remember, this scent of the month is only available for six months total, unless they add it to the catalog. So it will be available Ice Hotel January, February, March, April, May, and June. June will be the last month that you can get Ice Hotel. So January, February, March, April, May, June. Six months total, including the launch month. So that is the scent and warmer of the month for January of 2015. Please subscribe to my channel and you're gonna get lots of helpful tips, training, and getting to see things first, as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you'll subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.